I played 100 games of Minecraft survival games. Hey guys, Dividable Halo here, and welcome back to another video today. Like I said, we are playing Minecraft survival games, and we are playing 100 games of it inspired by the YouTube creator, Luke the Notable himself. If you guys haven't seen, I did a video with him years ago back on my channel. But look at him now, big guy, big success. Anyways guys, let's jump right into it. We are playing once again 100 games of Minecraft survival games on the Hive server. So 100 games on the Hive server is really not that hard to achieve. It literally took me maybe 8 hours max to complete all the 100 games with the occasional breaks there and there. However, yeah, the biggest thing is we're obviously going to try to win as much games as we can, get as much kills as we can, and we'll tally it up towards the end of the video. So we kick off the beginning on good old survival games number 4, Revamped. Of course, the first two chests that I managed to grab off spawn had a nice diamond sword and some diamond boots, so overall it's going to be a great game. Waiting around spawn for the grace period to end, we spot our first victim of the day. I will take your loot, thank you very much. The one thing I will say about the high server is recently they added an update where you could have GPS trackers and new TNT launchers, which is going to definitely make the game a lot more entertaining as we progress later on. While looting a chest underground, I spot two guys above. What are they doing? Are they fighting? Are they teaming? Let's go check it out. Of course they were fighting, but that never stopped me from getting the nice cleanup on the one guy and progressing to chase this other guy. However, as you guys can see, he put down a TNT launcher and it looked like it basically slowed me down and it froze me in place. Later on, he did place down a cobweb thing and really this is the first time that I ever interacted with those kind of things in the game. But nothing's going to stop me while I kill this guy that attacked me from behind and proceeded to loot his body. When heading back to the airport to see my next victim, I see this guy at a supply crate and as I go to approach him, try to kill him, unfortunately the man ends up getting a combo. I couldn't do anything, I tried to place a TNT launcher and unfortunately that ends game number one. Game number two begins on the map, Flashpoint, and there really isn't a lot of good loot on this map necessarily, so let's go see what else we could get. As I said earlier, there's a lot of things that were added into the Hive survival games. As you can see, there's this little launch pad on this guy sadly gets away as I try to kill him. But let's go clean up this guy. He's not going to be so fortunate after all. One thing I'll say as a tip is always check your back before you loot a chest because you never know who's going to come up behind you. Now, I know it's 100 games and you know there's going to be a lot of deaths. However, I don't feel the need to really show a lot of these kills because honestly, let's look at this guy right here. He's really not going to survive because he's just a Steve. And that's sadly how it is on the Minecraft Bedrock Edition. There's a lot of noobs. There's a lot of uh, people brand new to the game and it's just more or less a slaughter. However, one thing I will definitely show you is these two Steves going at it, duking it out to see who's better. However, there is no doubt in my mind that I'm definitely better than they are. So let's go kill this up. Let's go clean this up up easy kills and easy wins no team in allowed man one great thing that was introduced to the recent update on the hive is these flares absolutely amazing one thing that you can get is items that you can't really get in even the ender chest that you could see in the game look at that nice iron chest plate and instantly just like that i'm thrown into the first death match of the game damn am i loaded or what however none of that will be really relevant as i still don't know how to use these damn tnt cannons Come on, get a kill, place him down, what's going on? Whatever man, you know what, I'm just going in with this sword, let's try to get this booty. But, you know, yeah, I still don't know how to use these damn TNT cannons. But you know what, whatever, it is what it is. Second place, baby! Once again, back at it for game number 3 on survival games number 4. You'll see that this map is kind of overplayed a lot as a lot of people do love this map as it brings back a lot of nostalgia for the old Hunger Games. Really, it doesn't matter anyways because honestly, all I had was a wooden sword and I definitely got slaughtered off in the beginning. You'll see that it's a kind of a trend for some of these games here. Trust me when I say this guys, but it is only game number 4 and we are 4 minutes into this video. It's definitely not going to be 100 minutes long as we have 100 games to go through. There's a lot of short games, there's a lot of games where we just get killed early on. However, there are a lot of good ones out there and we are going to go through them as we are going through all 100 of them once again. This just really annoyed me right here. The guy is trapped, I launch a bunch of arrows into him, he breaks out, and he still slaughters me. Like, what the hell, man? Finally, a new map going into game number 5 as we are now playing Fallen Kingdom. After killing the Steve, you know, I felt like this is going to be a real good game. I really like this map, and honestly, later on, you guys will see that I excel in this type of map. 
but unfortunately my egoness my cockiness gets the best of me as i'm killed by another steve oh yeah we got a new map for game number six and this map is called northwood we're gonna get a lot of kills on this one i hope like i said a lot of kills waiting around spawn really does honestly get you a lot of kills because there's a lot of people that still are looting that want to pvp off the bat and i'm definitely one of them i finish off this one person and then i kill this other person and what do you know, lo and behold, this guy with some nice diamond armor wants to come tag me too. I will kill you, sir. Thank you very much. Being a man that constantly wants to PvP definitely has his downfalls because I really don't understand why I decided to get involved with this whole four-way fight. As you guys can see, I end up running away from one of these guys thinking that I could put a cobweb down. However, once again, the combos once again get me. And once again, I'm dead. Once again. Let me take this time to apologize to you guys as I definitely was not recording for game number 7 towards the end. It was a real good game. Unfortunately, I did die. I did come in third place. And you're really just going to have to take my word for it that this was game number 7. Ah, the beautiful Morbius, the newest map to the Hive survival games. And it's definitely the last map that we have not played yet. Let's check it out. And we're not going to check it out because you know what? I died early on trying to get an early kill. Yeah. That's good old me, Dividable Halo for you guys. Like I said early on, Fallen Kingdom is easily one of my favorite maps for this survival games. And yeah, it's just an open world. A lot of people to kill, a lot of people to slaughter. Believe me when I say it, I definitely do get better later on in the games. As you guys can see, this guy was definitely strafing me. I still managed to kill him, but damn, like... There's a trend going on here for why I'm losing a lot of these early games and it's just because I'm learning survival games all over again. The greatest thing that I like about the Hive is you're graded on the loot that you have. Most survival games out there is based on tiers, how you can PvP, but no, the Hive is definitely OG when it comes to survival games. Unfortunately, like I said, this guy has better gear and this is why I'm dead. Well, 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 it is already game number 10 and we are once again back on Fallen Kingdom, my favorite map. The early kills are honestly the reason why I'm really going to have a high kill count at the end of this whole entire video. And honestly, you do get a lot of good loot by killing a lot of these people that looted these chests in the beginning. So really, if you guys want a lot of kills, you want a lot of good loot, go for those kills in the beginning, man. They definitely help out a lot. Seeing this man with a diamond helmet definitely made me want to kill him a lot. I definitely chased him for such a long time. Let me just give you guys a good tip. Definitely learn the TNT cannons, man. You just got to launch it forward while you're running at someone or they're running at you. So that way you could easily get them to detonate. But that's definitely a reason why I lose a lot of these early games. Ah, oh, yes, Morbius, my good old friend. We are here to play once again. Will this be a turnaround? I hope so. Morbius is definitely my second favorite map by far out of the five that we have here and that's mainly for the fact that you could just easily come in there, trap people at spawn, and more or less suppress the entrance. Another thing that you could also later on do is just go and kill any of the stragglers that are AFK. Free easy kills, man. Hey guys, remember when I said I wasn't going to show all the kills? Well, this is one of the games where we're not showing all the kills, man. There's a lot of them, trust me. And this is a long game. My god, I'm not going to lie when I say I'm a beefy boy here. Look at all this loot and armor that you guys can see on the top left of the screen. Diamonds and a great sword. This is going to be one hell of a death match. Really, I should be mad that I lose and I die here right now, making it into second place of this game. But honestly, with seven kills on this game alone... That is something to be very hyped about, honestly. So I was going to take game number 11 to address some of the questions that you guys might be having right now. While yes, this is my favorite map, but let's just go towards the end and let's see how I die and why I'm so triggered, honestly. And look, a good old supply crate. And oh no, there's two guys that are camping it right there. This is the part that really annoyed me and really questioned if I was in the right lobby for solos. Honestly, the biggest thing that always pops up at the beginning of the game is there's no teaming and none of that whatsoever. Like, honestly, this happens a few times in the 100 games. And really, I don't understand why people decide to team. Just go on to the damn duels and you can easily win the games there. Ready to record the second part of my little rant here is... Damn, there's still more teamers in this lobby. I don't know if there was a three-way team or what was going on here. But yeah, like I said, I just ended up getting mocked. And that's because of teamers. Game number 13, and I could finally address some things that you guys may have questions for. 
The one thing I want to address quickly is, yes, I am not using my actual bedrock name, Dividable Halo HD, and the whole reason behind that is I'm actually playing on my brother's PC, which is Dividable Realms. I didn't really want to unlog from his bedrock edition because it's a lot of work, and his computer is way superior to mine, so I thought it would be a better idea to kind of just record off of uh, his old computer right there. So while we end off game number 13, let me just say, go subscribe to Silver. I'll give a link down in the description below, but my brother is attempting to do some, you know, Minecraft videos, other videos on PC now that he is able to do it. He really hasn't done any of these in a long time, so I'd appreciate if you guys go support him. Guys, this game right here, game number 14, is going to be a good one. And look, it's on my favorite map. Like I said, already looking at the top right, you can see that I have four kills. You can see that I have a golden apple. So you definitely know that I'm ready for the deathmatch going on or into this game. And won't you believe it, guys? I finally realized how to use those damn TNT launchers. You can tell that things are only going to go uphill from here, man. Now, there was really only two other people in this deathmatch, and looking at them, they weren't nearly as stacked as I was. So, after I finished this guy and another guy comes right at me, it was almost like it was a solidified win. And with that, game number 14, we officially take the first W of the 100 games. Coming off my first win, I honestly think things were going to go uphill from here. However, unfortunately, you know, I kind of lied. Now, Northwood is, once again, one of my favorite maps. Like I said, there's three maps that I like in here, and honestly, the other two that I really didn't give much comments to, it's kind of eh for me, mostly because I love the maps where people are more enclosed, more trapped, where you're able to slaughter a lot more people, and that's just more my PvP style. Man, who the hell do you think you are that you could come over there and squat and try to get a little team erection over here, man? This is high survival game solo. None of that stuff allowed in here. Yeah, no apologies for that. I know some of you guys might find that cringe, but anyways, yeah, as you guys can see, I got myself in a little pickle over here in this end. Once again, going for those four-way fights. Look, we're at the point here where every YouTube video should relatively be ending, and we're only on game number 17. Um, yeah, this is going to be fun. This is going to be more entertaining to uh, edit, honestly. Oh yes, we're at the point in the video where there's going to be a lot of streaks of just playing a lot of SG4 because a lot of people love to vote for SG4. Honestly, like I should just do a counter on how many times I play SG4 at this point. Like they say folks, never trust a man with a beard. They're always up to no good. Now, my opinion on all the featured Bedrock servers that are there right now is honestly the Hive is definitely one of the best survival games to be playing right now. I know there's another survival games on a couple other servers, but I just didn't really understand why Mindplace took it out. I seen that uh, Believe Lifeboat took it out, and there was a couple other servers that took it out as well. So there really is only two Minecraft survival games to be played on Bedrock. I know there might be some private servers out there, but but yeah, these are the best survival games to be played out there right now, folks. Now, I know we diverted from a lot of the topics on the actual games these last couple of games, but honestly, yeah, this game went on for quite a while, and it was quite enjoyable. I like the fact that it goes into night mode, and there was a few chases, there was a lot of stuff going on on it, but yeah, no, unfortunately, I die in this one once again. Now, game number 20, one thing I really want to talk about right now is just the quality of this video. There are some points where things get a little blurry, they kind of lose a lot of frames and whatnot, and sadly, it's unfortunately due to the fact that I recorded using OBS. So, if I do decide to do another 100 games or anything else that's related to Minecraft on PC, I will definitely be using a different recording software. Look, I'm 21 games in right now, and I honestly know that a lot of you guys are saying, damn, Dividable, you're just getting slaughtered, and yeah, that's absolutely true however as you guys can see in these later games like I honestly am getting a lot better like I said I haven't played hunger games in a very very long time since like literally 2015 so not bad honestly considering I've just learned the TNT launcher so I should see a lot more games improving after this of course this game wasn't one of them but hey so let's answer a few questions for game number 22 and one of those questions is why are you playing on bedrock for any of you guys that are watching that are Java players and honestly it's honestly because I like bedrock a lot better I play the game a lot with my friends 
friends on Realms, people that are on Xbox, PlayStation. I'm, of course, on PC, mobile, and whatnot. All get together, and we could just all play and have fun together. Of course, there are some problems when I go to play on Java when I was originally going to do these 100 games. But a lot of these servers like Hypixel or Central Craft or whatever that was called, they basically had a lot of problems where essentially I was uh, dying a lot because of people that were buying kits. They were buying perks, and they were just getting easy wins in the beginning. So really, I thought it wasn't fair to just do it on those kind of servers. Of course, with playing on Bedrock, you do end up playing with a lot of Steves that you guys can see in this game. And it really isn't not fair to them that I'm able to just slaughter them because I'm on PC. But hey, man, what can you do? You're meant to be playing on a multiplayer server. Or this is going to be a lot more competitive. So yeah. So yeah, no, there's a lot of deaths in these whole hundred games. But yeah, let's go through a death Taj of these last 10 games almost. Now look, I know I said that I messed up and I didn't record the first time and this second time I didn't record. I believe this is the only two times that I actually didn't record, so sorry man. But hey look, it's game number 34 and I'm in a double battle in deathmatch. Oh no, I take out one dude and then I slaughter the last dude to solidify my second win. Two out of 34 games, damn. You know, even back in the day when I was playing on the good old MCSG, like, the water battles weren't really my best kind of games when it came to fighting people. It's just simply I can't swim, I can't maneuver, and you're really just stuck there for someone to either bow you or come up afterwards and clean you up like you guys can see right here. I kid you not, game number 36 and I'm fighting the same guy from game number 35 and he has the same loot. No! Guys, I smell it. I could smell the victory in this game right over here. And it's not because I know what's going to happen afterwards. Well, look at this. Deathmatch again. How did that happen? Honestly, yeah, no, going into this deathmatch, I had six kills. There was two people left, and I didn't even have to work. I just got an easy dub right then and there. You know what's honestly really hard to achieve? Editing 100 games of Minecraft survival games. You know, props to this dude. This is literally the first time that I actually got stuck in the cobweb when it came to the whole TNT cannon, aside from game number one, but still. You know, I'm actually happy with game number 40. I managed to make it to deathmatch. I managed to get at least six kills, and yeah, I go home with the W once again. I told you guys it's churning up, man. Game number 41, I make it into deathmatch once again, and I counter this guy called Mayo Sauce. Have mercy on me, please, sir. Another deathmatch and that treacherous mayo sauce dude, what the hell are you doing here man? Just leave me be. Look, it's not my proudest moment, but when you see the guy that just killed you for the last two games, you honestly just need to get in there and you just need to slaughter him off in the beginning. So, so long Mr. Mayo Sauce man, this ain't your game now. After slaughtering countless Steves, I make it into deathmatch once again for game number 43. And yeah, no, let's just say that once again, the loot comes in real big handy on whoever's going to win at the end of this game. And of course, me not having a loot, I'm dead. You know, the Steves don't really like my onslaught of them. So I understand why they decided to team and take me out early in game number 44. Going into game number 45, and once again, we're at deathmatch with an astonishing six kills already, man. We clean up this one dude, and then later on we approach the last dude, and I really don't understand why these guys are running. If they just faced and fought me, they could have honestly won. But honestly, why am I complaining? This is literally a streak that I'm going on right now for game number 46 as I'm literally fighting another dude as I'm trapped in some nice cobweb. They could have honestly got me if they had a bow, but no, they decided to sit there and wait and waffle around. So I ended up getting a nice kill and a nice win for game number 46. Hey guys, remember earlier when I said I wasn't really good at doing water fights? I honestly don't know what was going on in my mind when I actually got two kills. I saw a care package going down. Knew there was a guy down there because I saw them earlier fighting with some other dude. But yeah, I went down there and I completely got my ass handed to me once again in the water. 
So back to the games of Minecraft survival games, as you guys are just more or less watching me get killed or win the games, let's take a moment to appreciate Morbius. Honestly, the map here is well designed, it's brand new, it's new and it's fresh, has a nice layout, a nice feel, and there's a lot of portals and teleporters all over the place that allow you to get some good loot. So me obviously playing 100 games, I end up getting a lot of good loot on this map and getting a lot of routes that I ended up finding. Which of course leads me to the deathmatch where I'm able to secure another W. Game number 49 is once again on the map Fallen Kingdom, one of my favorites. You guys know I'll make it to the deathmatch. Of course though, I never said I was going to win the deathmatch, which honestly it needed to end my streak right then and there. Let's take a moment for game number 50 to kind of realize that we have gotten way better since the start of the game. We've literally went on a losing streak and then we went on a little bit of a winning streak and we just so far have been making it to the deathmatch. However, I can't really vouch for this part of the game though. No. So from what I can recall, after game number 51 to 52 to 53, I pretty much was just coming back from a break. Honestly, it is really tiring doing an entire 100 games all at once. And of course, it's obviously done very late at night because who really has the time of day to sit around all day to do this? <laughs> game number 54 was honestly a really fast game. Like... Literally, I was slaughtering people right, left, and center. Of course, it was on my favorite map that I love to play right now. But yeah, none of these guys really stood a chance. Even when I made it into deathmatch with my fat six kills, the TNT launchers literally gave me a boost. And now that I know how to use it, I easily mop up this guy, claiming another W for the game. Game number 55, I kind of got a little sloppy here when I thought I could really take out a guy that only had a wooden sword. I know I didn't have any armor and he had leather armor, but yeah. Wait a minute, when did this happen? How is it that I didn't full screen this game? Like, I literally was recording full screen the whole time. I don't know if it's a little glitch, a little something, but yeah, no, regardless, I don't know what's going on and I don't know how long I've been recording like this. I think it drops off around game number 66. We'll see how it goes though. So for the next four games, essentially I do get slaughtered a lot, but one thing that I noticed after editing these last 10 games is that some of the color has been getting thrown off. I'm 90% sure that it's because I'm not full screened into this, so honestly that's probably what it is. And yeah, one of the games I wasn't even recording the whole thing, I just recorded the intro, so man, <laughs> did I really mess up on these last four games. Yeah, no, let me just say that game number 62 is by far the best game that I had so far. I literally got the best chests off of spawn. I literally got so many flares, so many kills. I kid you not, I believe I wiped out nearly the entire lobby because there was really only 14 people to start with. Heck, even when I got into deathmatch, I literally was so stacked with so much TNT launchers and everything that I just mopped the floor with anyone that was there. Once again, securing another victory. Folks, once again, if you really want to win these games, don't get into a fight, a three-way fight, or any fight that you literally could get slaughtered in. This is why I died right here and right then. Jumping into the middle of this battle, I honestly thought that I was just going to destroy this dude. He just finished off, he was trying to loot, but no, lo and behold, he doesn't take out his sword, he doesn't take out TNT, he takes out a damn bow and arrow, and he just keeps shooting me, and he keeps shooting me and shooting me until I literally die. I've never once died on the survival games with a bow and arrow. Oh no, it's that third time in the video again where I get slaughtered for the next five games. Let's enjoy this little moment together. Oh my god, we're already on game number 71. 
And if you guys have made it to this part of the video, then why don't you just go ahead and subscribe to this channel? Honestly, you're at game number 70 already. You might as well just hit that subscribe button because yeah, it'll show you that you guys enjoy this video and maybe I'll make another video about this kind of series again. But yeah, no, what a great start so far to that game, honestly. And we're already at deathmatch right here. It's honestly just going to be an easy mop up, easy win after those last five deaths and uh, really no finale. I honestly deserve to actually take this W. Obviously, this video is completely inspired by Luke the Notable himself, but yeah, no, literally no one has done this type of video for Minecraft minigames. There is one YouTuber that did a Treasure War video of this kind of thing, doing 100 games. However, he didn't really just do the entirety of the 100 games, so honestly, yeah, this is completely original so far as in terms of mini games. so this will be pretty entertaining for any of you guys that are watching it, honestly. So yeah, out of all the five maps that we've been playing so far on the server, I want to know what your guys' favorite ones are so far. Honestly, like I said, my favorite one is definitely Fallen Kingdom and seeing the amount of maps that are selected for SG4 I honestly am pretty sure that this is everyone's favorite as well. Now, like I said, I'm not going to hate on Survival Games 4 because, you know what, it does have a good route. You're able to get a lot of weapons on certain places. You're able to find those secret chests, and you can even get supply crates in open fields, depending on where you guys decide to go. You know, every single time I see someone with the tag YouTube in their gamer tag, I always do go check out their channel, and poor girl only has about 40 subscribers at the time of this video, so best of luck to you. Ah, yes, glorious game number 74. Hey, guess what? I die early on. Yay. Hello, SG4 again. And goodbye, SG4 again. <laughs> it's SG4. Oh, my God. Yeah, no, I really shouldn't be hating on this game, honestly, because, yeah, I literally got a lot of kills in this game as well. In all honesty, I really did not deserve to win this final death match. However, the guy didn't capitalize on my mistakes because I literally whacked him with a TNT. But hey, man, I'll take that W. Will you look at it? It's Fallen Kingdom. Yeah, no, at this point in the game, I'm not really the guy that I was from game 1 to 20. I'm literally catching a lot of dubs at this point. So, you know, the kill counter, the good dub counter is going to be going up. And once again, we're on the map Morbius, and I can honestly think that this game is going to just go well again. Oh no, would you look at that? It's deathmatch again, and man, two guys are coming right at me. I end up finishing off one dude just for another guy to come try to clean me up right at the end. And unfortunately, he ends up losing, and that's how I won another game. So one question I want to ask for all you guys that have been watching this video for the last 26 minutes now, probably going on to about 30 minutes total, is what do you guys think about this whole entire 100 games? Like, are you kind of disappointed that I'm not showing every single game? Like, I understand, like, it'll go on for hours if you guys literally wanted me to commentate on everything. But yeah, let me know down in the comments below. Anyways, going into this death match, as you guys can see, this was really not entertaining. I was getting bowed right, left, and center. And it was more like a Pong game, honestly, at this point. So, gotta take an L somewhere, you know? Well, you really don't need to see the next few games once again. But, hey, listen to some good old Halo music while we do a little death dodge. So good old game number 89 was actually a game that was kind of a little rough around the edges. Not lying that I did get a few kills there and there. But as we skip to the end of this game that we guys can see right here, I honestly do not know how I actually won. But hey, that ended the streak of deaths and dying early. Not to say that I really died early on some of the games where I made it to the death match. But hey man, I'll take a W anytime. Not to fear ladies and gents, game number 90 is here and we have 10 more left. Honestly, it's been really fun to edit all of this. Even though I did take multiple breaks multiple times. But hey, 
who can really complain? You guys are here for the video. You guys are here to get entertained. So let's die. You know what's the absolute worst? When you're creeping up on someone about to get that good old back smack and then he turns around and has an iron sword. As we begin game 92, we begin with a good old PvP fight. Nice 1v1. And then, unfortunately, it gets interrupted by this random dude. Why do you need to fight? Get out of here, man. You know, one thing I'm wondering is, how would I do on the Hypixel server? How would I do on MC Central? Would I honestly get better like I did on the Bedrock Edition? Like I said, I never played Minecraft Hunger Games in a while. I mean, I did do a few little episodes there and there, but definitely not 100 games. So, I wonder if the PvP style would be a lot different. But out of curiosity, would you guys like to see me do it on the Java Edition with those kits and whatnot? I know I am MVP plus on good old high pixels, so yeah, let me know down in the comments below. You know, game number 94 had a lot of PvP close deaths almost. Like literally the first one I almost lost because I had maybe one and a half hearts, but... Luckily, I cleaned up the first guy. Later on, moving on, I did end up clearing up some other guys. Unfortunately, the last guy ended up sneaking up behind me and getting a good strike to the back before he finally finished me. Game number 95 was sadly a not a good game because unfortunately, while I wasn't able to get the loot that I wanted because someone else was faster at clicking the loot, I did try to sneak up on a guy, try to get that final kill, but unfortunately, he finished me off making game number 95 a real short game, sorry. Yo, low-key, literally everyone was getting slayed on this map. Like, if you look at the death the counter right there, so many people are dying. And there's still only 16 people at the time of this recording. But yeah, no, unfortunately, while I'm chasing down someone, trying to get that good old kill, another guy comes in, decides to clean me up, push me into a wall, and just end my career right there. So yeah, no, it's game 97, and... Pretty much like this map, SG4, you just got to get a good route going. Like literally, I had a lot of good loot. I had a lot of good kills, and I was just slaying people at the beginning of the game. Literally, SG4 is one of those games where people always have to stay around spawn, get those good old kills, then later on move on to the chest routes that they all know about. And efficiently, you can make it just to deathmatch if you know what you're doing. And you know, once again, if you got those TNT launchers and some golden apples at the end of the game, you could easily catch the W at the end of this map, as you guys can see. Slaughtered this dude, slaughtered his buddy, and now I have seven kills. Waiting around spawn for game number 98, I decided to go kill some dude off early on, and later on I end up getting a couple more kills, but unfortunately, game number 98 wasn't one of those long games as I get slaughtered by another dude that had just better gear than I did, honestly. Oh my god, we only got two games left to do on the 100 games, man. This game was not really a bad game. There's a lot of people that were running around, a lot of people that were just more or less trying to sprawl out, fight each other, and I ended up getting a lot of good kills, a lot of good cleanups. It wasn't really uh, a game that was uh, hard whatsoever. As you guys can see later on, I make it into the deathmatch, but yeah, the deathmatch, unfortunately, there was a dude that managed to put down a TNT launcher, which, yeah, messed me up, and I literally lost by a guy that only had three hearts left. Well, you look at that, guys. It is game 100. Officially, we are here. We are at the end. And how do we do? Kicking off game 100, I end up getting myself a nice iron sword. There's two guys that are fighting over here. What are they going to do? I end up finishing one dude, and then I end up finishing off his buddy to get that double kill right off start of the game. Later on, I find another dude that's chasing a Steve with a nice diamond sword. I want that sword. So what do I do? I go up to him, fight him, and I take it from him. With my nice new shiny diamond sword, there's another dude with his diamond sword that wants to fight me. You know what? Honestly, you don't stand a chance, dude. Look at my armor. Remember that Steve that was getting chased by the guy with the diamond sword? Well, it's his time to die. Well, it's finally deathmatch of the 100 games, and look at that. I am loaded. I have myself a nice diamond sword, have some nice TNT launchers, and look. There's only one or two guys that are left. I end up cleaning up the first Steve really easy. And then next thing you know, another guy with a diamond sword comes and approaches me. Unfortunately, with all the combos that he was getting, he ended up finishing me. Making me come number second in the last game of the 100 games. So yeah, that was pretty much it. In total, we played SG4 a total of 34 times. Flashpoint a total of 12 times. Fallen Kingdom a total of 24 times and Northwood a total of 11 times. We also played Morbius for a total of 19 times. So I wasn't joking when I said we played SG4 a lot. 
For the kills, we ended up getting a good total of 289. We made it to deathmatch 36 times. We died early on 17 times, and we've won 16 times. So yeah, guys, that's my 100 games of Minecraft survival games on the Hive server. If you guys really enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate it if you guys hit that like button. Once again, subscribe. I know I did a lot of messages early on in this video, but honestly, I want to see how far I can go with doing these kind of series, maybe doing it on perhaps another server, another game mode, and whatnot. So without further ado, my name is Dividable Halo HD. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll talk to you guys all next time. Bye.